Hello, my name is Tony and I'm from Zay Photographic. I'm going to do a little review here of the Arn uh, body pack as it's called uh, with photo balance bags and on the back I'm carrying my uh, Peak Aspiration Arn pack and the tripod there. The tripod is being held on by a Zay pod sling so that just kind of latches it right to the bag so I can get at it pretty easy. Uh, it pops off really nice and easy. But the main review here I'm going to do is on this Arn pack, which is uh, a new thing for me. Uh, I like to do hiking and camping and such, and love to bring my photo gear, of course, being a photographer. Uh, do a lot of landscape, uh, panoramics and such like that. Do some uh, macro photography, so a little variety of stuff, and uh, just kind of want to show you what this bag can do. Uh, the back is mainly where I keep all my backpacking gear, but up front, this is where my photo gear is. So I've got right where I can get at it, nice and easy, and I just want to show you what it does. Um, first of all, uh, this is just a lens here. This is a, it's a 50 millimeter in here that I've got. Um, and with the Arn backpack, it comes with dry sacks, so it keeps all your gear uh, protected from water. I uh, just got the, my 50 millimeter, and this these packs come with uh, four of these bags made for your lenses, so you can carry four lenses within those bags, and also a larger one to actually carry your camera in. So I'm just going to show you some of the stuff that this can handle. Um, I've got uh, a remote on one side, battery, extra battery packs for my gear. Um, it's nice and easy. Like here, I can pull out a lens. I've got two lenses, one on either side. Right here, this is my 100 millimeter macro lens. Uh, so I can just tuck that in and you know get it in there, zipper it up. And uh, there we go. And then on this side, you know, another lens, pull that out. And that's my, uh, got kind of stacked in. And this is a, uh, my wide angle, uh, 10 to 22. So for me, that's a wide angle uh, EFS lens because I'm running a 7D normally, which is what's recording me now. So for uh, just purposes here and showing you, uh, let's snap this back together, drop back in. But for general purposes, I'm just running my, uh, I have a 20D sitting in here right now. Uh, Hopefully soon I'll be getting my 40D back from uh, Lazat in Vermont. They're actually converting it to a infrared. So in here, pull out my uh, my 20D. Uh, the thing about this bag, it's uh, I've got uh, right now a 24 to 70 on there with the camera. Slides right in, plenty of room to zipper it up with the strap. Um, I would normally like to. I usually carry a um, battery grip on here so I can have two batteries so I can go a long time without having to rechange, but um, this pack won't quite fit it. So if you have the larger camera, uh, like a Mark One or whatever, you're not gonna be able to fit in here, but they are coming out with new bags in several months. They're a little bit more expensive, but uh, I think it's better to lighten up your bag anyway, so it's better not to have it on there, keep it a little bit lighter but it's nice because I can fit that in there. The only downside is, is the 24 to 70 millimeter lens is gonna be probably about the longest lens you're gonna be able to have on your camera. Oops, let me get that in there. There we go. There we go. Uh, on your camera and actually put it in the bag on your camera. Uh, you can carry on this side, I've got a 200 to 7 or 70 to 200 millimeter lens, so that's tucked in there. I could put another lens in there. I actually carry a Nodal Ninja setup for panoramics, so I can do spherical panoramics or whatever out in the field. Um, so I just tuck that stuff in there. Just gotta you know, manipulate it a little bit to get it in. I'm not normally pulling this in and out all the time. So uh, if I'm going to the point where I'm actually gonna be 
setting that up, I take the pack off and, um, you know, then set up my tripod. But it's, you know, a great all around pack. The nice thing about this setup is you're not, not all your weights on the back of your back where you're, you know, being pulled down or being pushed forward. This contours your back. There's a spinal uh, frame there that you actually bend to fit the, the spine of your back. So it's really nice, tight all the way around your back. Really grips here. And the weight sits on this belt here. That's your waist belt, uh, your waist harness. So these aren't actually pulling here. They're actually sitting on this waist harness. And, you know, they just basically, they'll move up and down and stuff. So, you know, you have a lot of room to move. So as a photographer, this is a great piece of equipment. You know, I can bend over, you know, grab something. And because of the balance of it, it's not pulling me forward. And I can bend back, you know, you can stretch out in this thing. It's great. So all around weight is distributed evenly. So it's not on, all on your back. So your back's not hurting after a good hike. You know, it just really distributes the weight well. So this is the arm uh, body pack with uh, photo balance bags. They, cr they have different bags for different needs. But being a photographer, this is ideal. You know, in this unit, uh, if you're not used to it, you know, it's a little different. You just unclip here. You've got a cross clip here to just kind of hold it all in. And then, you know, everything just drops away and then you just pop off the pack. So, you know, and then we've got a pot sling. So, you know, this is tied on. You know, I can pop this off real easy and go ahead and photograph. So it's a great unit. Uh, and next time, if you're interested, I can kind of show you the gear I carry for camping. You know, basically I've got my, uh, my sleeping bag in there, uh, a thermo rest uh, pad, tent would go in there, uh, cooking gear, food, you know, all the basics for camping. You know, I usually, my, my setup set up for more of a, a three-day excursion if you're planning on doing more. Arn makes bigger bags, uh, 70 liter bags, 85 liter I think is the max end. So you can get a really large bag if you're doing five-day excursions or whatever and you carry a lot more gear. You know, I try to go ultra light as much as possible. The camera gear is kind of weighty so based on that you got to go uh, as light as you can back here because of your photo gear. You don't want to get too weighed down. You don't want to 80, 90 pound pack. And I'm gonna weigh this pack out uh, with all my gear here and just kind of get a ballpark of what it weighs and I'll put that in the, uh, the little uh, drop down. I'll also put in the websites for the Arn packs um, and then like the pod sling and stuff like that. So where you can get that information. So, you know, check it all out. And uh, I really recommend this pack. It's been great and um, you know, it's probably not the cheapest pack on the market, but you know, for what it does as far as balancing you out, for uh, ease of, you know, just kind of carrying your equipment, it's a great pack. The worst part about it, probably when you first start up, is getting it all fit to you because there's a lot of bells and whistles. See, I spent, because I didn't have anybody helping me out, about an hour and a half just getting this pack to fit me correctly. But once I got it to fit, it's awesome. It's well worth the time, effort, and you know, it's basically a custom fit. Uh, when you go to the website, you have to do uh, custom fittings, you know, and it'll tell you how to do everything there. They've got videos for every part of it, so it's a great way to go. So this is the Arn Body Pack. Uh, they're out of New Zealand, I believe, and thumbs up to them. That's uh, I'm Tony from Zay Photographic, and I hope to get more reviews out to you for different things. Thanks.